Hi guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video we're doing a review on the Papyrus note taking app available for free from Google Play. This application is still in its beta stage and I'm using it on my Asus Nexus 7. The reason why I point out you know, what device I'm using it on is because Papyrus actually requires you to have a resolution of at least 1280 by 800 in order for it to work. Basically meaning tablets or fabulous like the Galaxy Note. It won't work on devices like the Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, HTC One X. I've already tried, it just says it's not supported at this time. And the second reason why I point out I'm using Nexus 7 is because my Nexus 7 is a pure Android device obviously, so it didn't come with any pre-installed uh, note-taking applications. And coming from the Galaxy Note 10.1 with S Note, which I did a review on on the channel by the way, um, really felt like I was missing something and I searched Google Play for you know a couple of hours until I finally came across Papyrus and as you guys know if you guys follow the channel I only do app reviews on applications that I actually use myself on my own devices so I'll go ahead and show you why I actually prefer Papyrus to some of the other ones available on Google Play. So when you first open up the application you're taken to this screen this is the home screen from here you can create a new notebook create a new note and go to your settings so a very simple interface now notice that it does have the ice cream sandwich design which is really nice so on the left column you have your home which basically is what we're looking at you can go to start notes I don't have any notes in here so it says you have no start notes all notes I don't have any notes on file notes and then notebooks so I'll go ahead and show you each of these little options a little bit later in the video for now I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new note because this is what you guys want to see so First thing you'll notice on the left is to go back to the main menu. It automatically saves when you do that, so I'll just open this same note up again. Uh, right here at the left of, or to the right of this little Papyrus logo, you have the option to name the note. So I'll just name it Note 1, hit OK, and then you have your back and forward option. So if I were to draw something, so I'm just going to go ahead and you know drop something really quick. I can just hit back and it goes back, go forward, it'll go forward. So pretty simple, you guys know how that works. Uh, right here you have your tool selection, so I could choose from my pen, I could go to uh, the selection tool, and I could go to the eraser. So if I tap the eraser, it'll just erase what I have. If I go to the selection tool really quick, I could select something like this. You just make a lasso around it basically. Whoops. So you make a lasso around it, and uh, it kind of gives you that little effect. You could hit cut, cup, copy, or duplicate. Let's say I just wanted two of these exact shapes. I hit duplicate, I can move it around now, and then hit done when I'm done. and there you go, so pretty cool little tool right there. I uh, wanna show you guys the eraser. Now, there's, you know, I like the eraser, but then I don't like it. The reason why I like it is because it's really easy to delete or to erase something. So for example, I just go like that and it erases the whole line. So basically, whenever I do a stroke on here, so you know, if I make a square like this with one stroke, the eraser will erase all of it. If I go like this, you know, even if I connect it, it won't. So I'll go ahead and show you that really quick. So the eraser, Right here, deletes the whole or erases the whole square. Right here, I have to do it, you know, one piece at a time, which is, you know, I don't know. I like it because it makes it faster to erase things. But at the same time, I don't like it because if you're trying to draw something, and let's say, you know, for example, I was trying to draw that square, and I kind of messed up right there. Right, I have a little bit hanging off. I'd want to erase that and go into the eraser. It deletes the whole thing or erases the whole thing. So kind of inconvenient, but thankfully there is a way around that, and that's called. Uh, making the color, which right here is the color picker by the way, you could choose between all these little uh, colors right over here which are your basic colors or you could you know, make your own one from this color grid and choose exactly what you want. Um, I'm just going to go to white. So because I have a white canvas, I could actually draw over it like that and basically solves my eraser problem. So that's nice. Um, but I, the one drawback is, you can see it right now my canvas is like a graph paper. And right here where I you know, drew the white over, it erases the canvas also, or it covers the canvas up. So it's kind of a solution, but at the same time it's not. I don't know if the developer will add in the option to have like, two different eraser modes, but not that big of a deal for me right now. Uh, speaking of the canvas, I'll go ahead and go over here to this little settings, and then hit page settings. And basically what you could do is you could actually change the canvas. So right now you can see under page type it says graph. If I want to make it you know, like college ruled, I can hit that, hit OK, and boom, you can see it's a college ruled paper background. And there's a bunch of different ones you can choose from. You can do a blank canvas, college ruled, wide ruled, narrow ruled, and then different graphs of different sizes. So that's pretty cool. Um, next thing is you, from this page settings option, you have the, weather, the option to uh, choose your page size. So right now it's on infinite, which basically is one of the main reasons why I really, really like this application. But if I wanted different sizes, I could actually choose them from here. For now, I'll leave it on infinite. 
And speaking of infinite, so I'll go ahead and make my color black again. Um, let's say I run out of room, right? On most note taking applications, you're pretty much done. You have to create a new note. On here, you can actually use two fingers to pan around and you know continue drawing. So this is infinite. I could keep doing this you know, for days and it'll never run out of room, which is really nice. Now, obviously it's gonna be kind of hard to see you know, what you're doing after a while. Well, you can just pinch out to zoom and you can see you know, your little creation like that. So that's a cool option. Not only is it infinite canvas like this, you actually also have infinite pages. So say you're taking notes for like math class or whatever, and you ran out of room, you don't feel like, you know, making your canvas bigger and bigger because that's going to make it hard to find what you're looking for later. You can actually start a new page. So I hit this little arrow right over here and it starts a new page. As you see, it's the graph paper again. So it's not uh, college ruled or wide ruled like it was earlier because I didn't change the canvas on this. So every canvas has its own setting. Um, the default right now is set to graph. I'll show you how to change that later. But anyway, I could go like this, start a new page, start a new page. And you know, if I wanted to make this one bigger, I could do it like that. And as you can see, all of them are still saved. And if I back out of here, you can see it says note one, I'll tap it and all of them are still there. So pretty cool functionality. This is also infinite as well. So I actually put that to the test. I went up all the way to 250 and it didn't stop. So I got bored and stopped doing it, but take my word on it, it is infinite. Um, really, really cool functionality here. Um, I'll go ahead and go into, uh, what's, it, what's it called? The next option, uh, you could share it. So basically from here, uh, you could actually export this canvas or uh, the whole note together as a PDF. So if I want to do just this page, I can just hit share and basically it lets me share it as a PDF via Bluetooth or Gmail. Really cool to be able to do that. Also, if you want to do uh, print something out, for example, you don't want an infinite canvas, obviously. Let's say I wanted a five by seven, hit okay. And now this is a five by seven. How could I tell? When I zoom out, you can see it is a five by seven. Now it makes it a lot easier to share it to email it to somebody else. Like I said, I could do just this page or I could do the entire note. If I do the entire note, it's gonna share everything. So that is you know, what you could do from within the actual note taking uh, process. Now from here, you can actually have different options. You could create a new notebook. So like I said, let's say you're doing math notes, you would hit create note or create notebook and then math notes. And you'd put the day, like day one. So math notes day one. I made a little notebook, now it's empty right now. To actually move the note that I just made into here, you press and hold, you can see now I can drag it, drop it right into here, as simple as that. So really easy to do. Um, it's under now under unfiled notes, there's nothing because I filed it away. All notes obviously it's gonna appear. If I start this guy, it'll show up under start as well. And you know, if I unstart, it's not gonna show up. Pretty simple interface like I said. Um, nothing you know too fancy here, just works. Now, it does support stylus, like I said earlier, so I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. So right here, you could actually enable an active pen. So, you know, if you have like the Galaxy Note 10.1, you could be using your S Pen, you could be using your HTC Scribe Pen, whatever it is, so you don't have to stick with the uh, application that, you know, came with your device. Now, what's cool is when you have the S or your uh, active pen enabled, your finger touch will have a different, you know, input option. So basically, right now it sets to the eraser tool. So if you're using your S Pen, uh, for example, on the Galaxy Note, you could use your finger and it wouldn't draw on the canvas. Instead, it'll erase because it'd be set to another tool. Now, if you want to change that, you could. You can make it the selection tool, you can make it the uh, erase tool, the pen tool, etc. cetera. Um, also, if your pen has buttons, you could customize what those buttons do with the gestures too. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, the gestures really quick. I don't have an S Pen on me or any kind of stylus, but I'll go ahead and go to the tutorial. And this actually shows you uh, some of the little gestures you can make right here. So once you have active pen and you're holding down the side button, if you swipe up, it'll go to color picker, swipe to the right and or to the left, it's basically undo and forward and swipe down, it's tool picker, which basically you can choose from your selection tool, your eraser tool or your pen. So I'll go ahead and back out of here. Let's put it back into portrait mode really quick. Um, other settings you have from here, like I said, you could change the default page. So right now it's set to graph, like I showed you guys earlier. If I wanted it to be, you know, always uh, a blank canvas, I could do that. And you know, even the page size, I set it to infinite because like I said, that's really nice to be able to have, but if you don't really like it, you could change it to whatever you want. So very, very customizable, but also at the same time, very simple. You know, the note, the uh, settings aren't confusing by any means. There's a tutorial which teaches you everything you want to do, which I showed you earlier. And um, you could customize the active pen option. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the active pen on for a quick second. And you guys can see now my finger 
is using the uh, selection tool right now. So my finger is actually not drawing even though I'm on the pen mode because it's expecting me to use a stylus. So to undo that, of course, I have to go back, go back into the settings and uncheck that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this uh, review on this app. I mean, if you want to delete a note, you just tap delete. If you want to rename, you tap rename. Pretty simple. Um, I could even delete this whole little notebook like that. So anyways, that's pretty much it for me and this review. Um, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.